ready to learn. Yeah, you. You in the back. Uh, what's your name again? It's, um, Richard. And where's Dr. Brown this time? Ah, oh, well, it's kind of funny that you asked that. Uh, your teacher kind of went on a spontaneous vacation. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm the substitute. My name is Chris Rayner. I've been a substitute teacher for 10 years. Or was a substitute teacher. It's not like I'm a bad teacher or anything. In fact, it feels pretty great being the cool teacher. Yeah. You know, my class, it's all about laying back and learning. The kids love it. Hey, did you, uh, did you do the O'Brien homework last night? Yeah, you can copy mine yes, if you want. Yeah, I need a coffee because okay. I never do homework. Hey guys! Give it you. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. Well, good chat. We'll see you later. Hey, no homework this weekend. Rainer? Well, I guess I don't have a problem with him. I mean, how could I have a problem with someone who doesn't try to shove information down your throat every five seconds and doesn't assign homework? I mean, I can't think of a single person who'd rather learn in class than sit around and do nothing. Well, to be completely honest with you, seeing him all desperate like that, it's kind of depressing. And this is how the electron transport chain works within the cell. You see, air gathers around the center of the cell, and they all live inside an ATP. And the ATP gathers all this oxygen and everybody gets really close to the neutrons, and the neutrons mess with the electrons and you know, I really don't know what I'm talking about here. Do, do any of you know what's going on? Actually, what you said is factually incorrect. The electron transportation chain is an essential part to cellular respiration. Hello, I'm Amelia Habdari, and I'm the top student in my class when it comes to, well, just about everything, really. You see, unlike the other students at this school, I take my education to be a top priority. So you can imagine how it must feel like to be surrounded by idiots who want to do nothing but sleep and make fun of you all day, and the fact that you have to be around them and in their presence for 365 days. <sighs> That substitute teacher just exacerbates the worst out of these children. I don't understand why he hasn't been kicked off of campus already. I mean, he's... Hey, the... Amelia, how are you doing today? Nope. No, I'm sorry. You can come contact me after he's gone. How are you doing today? Oh, wow. Jeez, I'm crow. I get it now. It's a staircase. Yes, yes, it's a staircase. And... Uh... I did not think I was going to learn anything in school today. This is pretty cool. So this is why all you kids come to school in the first place. All right, sorry guys, I'm late. I left my books outside while I was talking to someone. Next thing I know, they were gone. And... Ooh, you'll never take me alive! Get out of here! Never! Never take me alive! He took my books again, didn't he? Well, it doesn't make any difference, because I need to spend extra class time with you cleaning up all this nonsense he put on the board. What is this? No, no, no! This is ridiculous! Now, you know, in my class, we're going to do some real science. <laughs> this is going to be real fun.
Sir! Sir! Mr. Christopher Rayner, this is the fifth time this week. It was one thing when I caught you trying to teach Klingon to the French class. It was one thing when I saw you set up a trapeze for the dance class, which by the way, because of you, many of them can't even walk anymore. You have no idea how many phone calls I have to make, how many papers I have to file because of your antics. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I just got onto campus. Christopher, I had to chase you off school grounds this morning. Do you really think returning to campus the same day in different clothes is gonna fool me? I've had enough. This time, I'm taking matters into my own hands. You're coming with me.